Hey YouTube, it's Ryan from Droid Review here. I'm going to be showing you how to revert your firmware from 2.1 back to 2.0.1 so that you can start rooting and installing those custom ROMs we all like. So I'm going to just go in here real quick and show you that I'm officially on the 2.1 firmware as you can see right there. 2.1 update, the kernel and the baseband's all been updated. Uh, so I don't have a lot of time so I'm going to get right into it. First things first, you're going to want to plug in your USB cable here. Once it's plugged in, you can ignore mounting it or anything like that. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and power the phone off. So let's go ahead and power it off. Once it's powered off, um, you're going to want to obviously power it right back on, but you're going to hold the up on the D-pad here. So hold that up and then power the phone on. Once it turns on, you're going to get this screen right here. One second. So boom, you're in the bootloader. Once you're in the bootloader, you got to uh, run RSD. So let's go and look what I'm doing on the computer real quick. One second. Okay, so um, this is what we're going to do on the computer right here. We're going to run RSD. Please remember that um, have all the stuff downloaded already plugged in, install the drivers and such, whatever, whatever. May, please make sure you have everything plugged in correctly and installed. So go ahead and once you run RSD, you're going to click on this little guy right here. You're going to want to click um, locate wherever you put the SBF file, which is right here, the one that I did. It's the SBF file. Once you click it, select OK Open. So now that it's open, all you got to do is click Start. So we're going to go ahead and click Start. Now this is going to you know, do a bunch of stuff right here. It's executing something. I honestly don't know what's going on. It's obviously flashing, creating an image and stuff. On your phone, now it's going to say um, S SW update in progress. Kind of hard to see there, but um, anyways, go back to the computer. Um, again, please remember this program is very, very dangerous to use. So please, this is not for beginners. Only utilize this program. If you're really good at this, if you're good with computers, if you're good with your droid, if you follow it correctly, everything will get done perfect. This this program that we're using right now can and will break your phone if you use it wrong. So um, in the event, if your USB cable comes unplugged, your power goes out, you're pretty much screwed. You're going to have to basically take your phone to Verizon and do a warranty exchange because your phone is bricked. There's no going back. Once this is done, um, I'll come right back to the video. Again, please do not do anything until it's 100% complete and it says passed. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, just a quick side note. Um, that RSD that I just did actually failed out. It completed, but it failed. Um, what you should do in that case, sometimes it passes, sometimes it's failed. Don't freak out. I was just a minute ago. A good buddy of mine, Grandmaster B, helped me out through the process coped me through it and I turned out fine. Anyway, um, what you're going to want to do is if it does fail out, um, just go ahead and as long as your phone gets back to this screen, you'll be fine. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just power off the phone and power it back up and I'll see you back up when we boot up. So just remember, if it does, wait about 10-15 minutes, come back to your phone and it should have been booted. If not, just try clicking around somewhere in the software program, try highlighting the actual the failure line. That should get your phone to reboot. So I'll see you guys back in a minute. Okay, YouTube, um, I'm back. I had to obviously log back into my Gmail, reinstall everything, um, and uh, I'll just show you what firmware I'm going to be on. So if you look down right here, 2.0.1. So I'm back, back to 2.0.1. First things first, go into EOE App Installer. We need to um, basically install droid mod this is going to be the easiest way to reroute your phone install the recovery and uh and everything you need to start doing the custom installs again so just like to install any apk go ahead and push and hold install this apk obviously it's going to come up with third-party apps so click on settings you click on or check unknown sources click ok go back one more time install this apk click install it's going to install it Application install, click done, click home, go in your app drawer here, it should be right there. 
Uh, now it's going to say your phone is not rooted. This is required before installing, yada, yada. It's going to say quit recommended or root my phone. So we're going to want to click on root my phone. Please make sure you're connected to a Wi-Fi connection, guys, by the way, because the uh, updates that it needs to install can take a very long time. So when this is done, we'll be right back. Okay, so after it's done rooting, you're going to get this message. It's going to tell you to reboot and recover mode. So um, we'll go ahead and reboot and recover mode. Remember to push the volume up and the camera key to get through into the recovery. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so here we are. Just remember, you always want to push the volume up and the camera key. Once that's done, you'll get into this menu. You're going to want to click uh, right, use the volume key, push down, click on apply SD card update.zip, push the um, Oh, the D-pad center button right here. Push enter on it when you're on that apply SD card update. It's going to run through this stuff. Go ahead and after it's done, reboot your phone back up. After it's done, so it's done, close it. Click on reboot system now. We'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so we're booted back up here. Um, quick way to check it is to scroll through your app drawers. If you see that super user icon, you are now rooted. Okay, so next things uh, we got to do is go back into ROM or DM updater. Make sure you're connected to a Wi-Fi. Um, when this option comes up, check the box that says remember and then click allow. Say check again. It's going to download some stuff, recovery tools. You click on uh, recovery image needs to be updated, continuing will void warranty. Just click I understand the risk. Click flash recovery image. going to sit there for a little bit and you are now done that is it guys you are now have the SP recovery the latest version on there you are rooted you're good to go you are running 2.0.1 software or firmware I should say so if you do get a pop-up that says an update is available install now do not install it that is 2.1 so if you click on that you're gonna reverse this whole process we did and you're gonna have to do it all over again so yeah that's pretty much it um, just a quick heads up also in droid mod updater that tool that we just used um, it might ask you to install their ROM, their version of their ROM. You don't have to. Um, you can always, you know, install ROM Manager um, and then pick whatever ROM you want. You know, whether it be the Black Droid or Ultimate Droid. I mean, or the Cyan ROMs or Bugless Beast. Whatever you want to do, you can. Um, and just a heads up, you are running 2.0.1 software, so you might get bugged by those over-the-air updates. Just remember to click Deny. Otherwise, you're gonna have to do the old process again, just like I said earlier. Um, as again, I'm going to reaffirm this over and over again. This video is strictly meant for people that kind of are really good and rooting your phones already, messing with the droid. You're good with computers. I highly recommend you watching this video a few times before attempting this, making sure that you read through the form that I gave you, that little list there of steps. Read the description over and over again before you attempt this. Um, please, please do that. Um, that will ensure that um, you have, you know, proper experience in doing this because that that uh, Motorola program RSD is is basically what they use um, when you when they you know refurb a phone. They use that to you know wipe and reload their own software on there. So I mean, if you mess up, you're pretty much done. You're gonna have to do a warranty exchange. That's even if they'll let you do a warranty exchange. So um, again. I don't assume any responsibility for anything that you do, neither do any of my affiliates or anything like that. So please do this at your own risk. Um, thank you again so much for watching. I know that this was a crazy video and it, it might be a little bit um, intimidating. It's not that hard as you can see. Um, if you know what you're doing, it could be a breeze. If you don't, you could really fuck up your phone. So I wouldn't recommend it if you don't know what you're doing. So um, thanks again for watching. Um, stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to be going over through some Wi-Fi tethering, um, overclocking, just some tips and tricks. So thanks again for watching. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to make a comment in the comment section. Thank you all out there that are helping everyone out, answering all the questions that I get. Um, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.